Oh, solid. Good morning, everyone. How are we going today? It's a chilly one this morning. I'm just in the feed with the feedlot lambs, checking them, the water and um, their feed. Big day today. We're going to mark all the AI lamb stud lambs. It'll probably take most of the day. There's a fair bit of um, fair, fair few things to do with the studs. We've got to mother them up and then um, you know get their mum's tag and few vaccinations and a drench and record all the tags on the computer so we'll walk you through that and show you what what it's all about the most annoying bird in the world I cannot stand them alrighty so there's just a few few bits and pieces in the yards here that I want to fix up before we start landmarking just to make it a bit well some parts need strengthening up but also just make it a little bit less dangerous for the sheep like these bits here where bits of rod have just come off they're just going to be welded on there not safe for the sheep or the dogs or us so i'll just fix it up before we do start doing a lot of sheep work in here there's not too much to do just just a few bits and pieces that little job now there's only a little bit to do I just wanted to fix them up there's a few sharp sharp bits of um, rod sticking up and stuff like that and just don't want that around these yards are getting a bit knackered as a lot of things are at the moment my grandfather built these yards when he first came over here and that was a that was a fair while ago now so no they're doing well but it is in the in the plan to build a new set of yards and shed and stuff but just not right at this moment <laughs> So I'm just moving the twin ewes into the next paddock to bring the AI ewes through. They're in the one behind, so sort of got a, in a bit of a bit of a week break with lambing at the moment. So all the all the twins and single stud ewes and the early crossbred ewes have sort of finished and merinos. Um, and we're sort of probably a week off the the rest of the crossbreds and things starting. So it's bingo. <laughs> I don't round me up, round the sheep up before. I've been giving them a little bit of grain so they, they know what's going on. Well, I think they know what's going on. They don't actually know. Moot! Moot! Push them up. So we just pulled them back into the shed, little shed paddock here. Um, we're just going to leave them there half an hour and just go have a, um, something to eat, just to let them mother up. Um, I'll show you a bit more what we've got to do. But we, yeah, we have to be mothered up so we can get their mum's tag numbers for pedigrees and stuff because they're, they're stud sheep. So. so you'll see the lambs will stick with their mums pretty well. See the two in the corner there, we'll try and get those two. Hey, 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 he's got a limp, hey. So I'll just put a mark in. So if I walk up here, you can see that 
Most of the time the ewe will go and then the lamb will follow with it. So you'll see, this year we ordered the first hundred tags with a little AI on them so that, so that we know when we look at these lambs in the future that they're an AI lamb. It's only the first hundred though, the rest are all just normal tags. I'm just throwing in the disinfectant. So Dad's just reading out their, their mum's tag number and I'm writing it down on the computer here. So that way we know um, who their mother and father is. Obviously all the fathers are the same. And they're getting a drench. And then a five in one, a mouldy min, um, a gadare, which is prevents the Oni's disease. And a ring on their tail and a tag. Outrun the dark, keep our eyes open. Mountains we cross, sail every ocean. No, oh, anywhere you want to go, I'll show you my world. Oh, world. show you my world. Oh, going through we're just making sure because they're stud sheep we're making sure that there's nothing we don't want to cull out of them like for example a pig jaw or something make sure they've got two testicles <laughs> i got in trouble before for saying balls not testicles <laughs> so i forgot to mention too that the different color tags you see the mum's got a blue tag there's just different colors for the different years so Orange is 18, 19, and this year 22 is red. Just an easy way of identifying the years. So there we go, the first day of um, stud lamb marking done. We didn't get, to, we only got, gee, um, 70 odd lambs marked today. I think there must be still some um, down in the creek there, because obviously out of 72 AI ewes, only 70 lambs, but there was definitely twins and singles and there's only two ones that lost their lambs in them so there must be more down there somewhere which is a bit annoying that fence along the creek there's a bit a bit rough so but that's good we had a we got started a bit late but it, it's that stud marking it just takes a long time to mother up and and write it all down and things and hopefully if we can get this electronic tag software up and going it'll be um, a lot quicker but they all look pretty well. We're just getting them at the right time, I think, because there's a bit of Barber's pole worm starting to poke its head out. Not literally, but in the ewes, you can tell um, the some of them were a little bit steady. So it's, I think it's a pretty good time to be drenching them, luckily. And so we'll have to keep going with these twins and single lambers to try and get them going, get them all drenched. Here, push them up here. Hey. So, no, that's good. Here, like here. I'll, um, I'll take these away tomorrow. I'm, I'm off to footy training in half an hour or so. But we're just going to let them down the front paddock for now. Here, push them up. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. But, um, yeah, any questions, put them down the line. I'm sure I missed something. Anyway, guys, with that, I hope you, hope you enjoyed it and we'll, we'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, see ya. Wait. Oh, wait up, actually, I've got, got something at the end here to throw in, so. All right, you guys, see ya, bye. Well, 
meet Jack and Jill. Had a bit of a discussion this morning. This is Jack. And that's Jill. Hey fellas. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Come on. Thanks for all the comments on the, on that video. It was really good to see some of the suggestions. There was a um, there was a lot of good ones, even a few like lamb chops and shanks. But <laughs> these ones are stud lambs, so they won't. Well, actually, none, none of our potties ever see ever go to, the, to get killed or anything. It's just I don't know. It's just the way we can't do it. We can't send them off potty lambs when you raise them. It's not like we have hundreds of them. We only generally have sort of oh last year we had four so. They're going pretty well, they get fed twice a day at the moment and sort of giving them a bit of, a few pellets too to get them started. No, they're, they're happy as I think. But no, Jack and Jill we settled on. They had a couple of likes too, so. No thanks again for watching, I appreciate it. So um, we'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, see ya, bye.